Hey, party on peeps. This is Hurst Quasar. We are in Quasar's Customs playing a little Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. And yes, party on Wayne, party on Garth. We have the Wayne's World AMC Pacer. Probably one of the ugliest cars I have ever seen, to be quite honest with you. Yes, I am getting over a head cold and I am hoping not to cough too loudly in your ear while we take this on uh, let's get to this so Wayne's World um, movie back in what is it 19 1992 I guess it is so you know one of our newer movies that we've been looking at I mean we're talking now, 68s to 70s movies that some of the cars we've uh, been building. So this is a 1992 movie with uh, Dana Carvey and Mike Myers. Mike being Mike Myers, being his debut movie. So that's kind of cool. I didn't really realize that. Um, but yeah, they've. They, <laughs> this is actually Dana Carvey's. Uh, he's, his name is Garth. So they would always say, you know, party on Wayne. Wayne was. Uh, Mike Myers, so it was party on Wayne, party on Garth. So it was a big, a big thing back in the day to always say that. It was just, I don't know, we were all kind of stupid and kind of mimicked everything. Party on Wayne, party on Garth. Yep. So these two guys were supposed to have some sort of a cave, a free access cable show, and. Um, if I remember correctly, there was there was a lot of actors in this movie, like uh, Rob Lowe. Rob Lowe is like I believe Wayne's arch nemesis, right? He just Rob Lowe ends up buying the cable access this this show and starts making changes to it, and I think he eventually even fires Wayne at one point. So, and then you have um, uh, what is her name, Tia? Oh, how do you say her last name? Sierra? Tia? Oh, jeez. I don't remember her name. Very attractive young lady. She's She come from... Um, she was a Days of Our Lives actress, I believe. And she's made it into the movies. But yeah, there's just a whole lot of, whole lot of actors in there. And to be quite honest with you... My favorite of all time, my favorite singer is in there, um, Alice Cooper. Oh yeah, Alice Cooper is in this movie, and I was just, I just tickled to see him in there because he is by far one of my favorite singers of all time. Um, great storyteller, um, just an awesome artist. Um, can't say enough about him. I, I think he's great. The King of Shock Rock, definitely. That's exactly who he is. So we are going to rebuild Wayne. Or this is actually Garth's um, Garth's car. I can't believe it is Garth's car. Um, so yeah, we're going to fix this puppy right up for him. Uh, we need a plate, a couple of shock bees. Okay, so we need to get one plate, a couple of shock absorber bees, um, small bushings. Oof, I had tacos tonight, got a little bit of heartburn. Um, and I need a rear axle here. Alright, so I think we have most of the things we need here. And, um, I did look at the car online to see what I actually needed as far as rear wheels. So I believe in, oops, um, these are 15s. Yeah. The 15s look up a, yeah, we'll probably end up staying with the 15s. Oof. Yep. Hacking up along here. Sound like I've been smoking two packs of cigarettes a day. It's been awful. Two weeks of this stuff. 
Alright, so we will jump in here. And the rear wheels almost like the look like the wagon wheels. So I know we have something like that in here. Like these right here, I believe. Is that what I'm looking for? I think that's I think that's what I need on the back. So we need two of these. And we'll go 15 inch and they are chrome. So we are going to have to paint these bad boys up. Chrome, please. Metallic. Chrome. Awesome. Next one, please. Alright, so we have those. Let's get these puppies mounted up. I also need to get the uh, fuel tank. Probably not going to do too much with this as far as performance parts. I mean... It's a pacer for crying out loud, right? Um, let's see. <clears throat> um, I do need to figure. Oops, I do need to figure out what the tires. Uh, two hundreds. Sixty. Two hundred sixty. Jeez. Um. That's really, that's really skinny. We'll go 235. 55. Maybe that's not as skinny, but a little bit taller, a little bit wider. Yeah, that looks pretty good for the back, I do believe. Oh! Man, what the heck am I doing? Jesus, I must have stepped on the wrong pedal down here. Let's try this again. I have to not stand on this side because it just screws me all up. I have to do the, the whole swish here. See? And we do that. Okay, and while that's going together, let's pick up the fuel tank. Ah, uh, fuel tank. And we're just going to put a regular fuel pump in this puppy. I mean, it's a pacer. Okay, let that go ahead and do its thing. We'll go ahead and get some of these parts in here. While we are waiting for the balance move. And it's done. I can hear it in the background. So yeah, Alice Cooper is in this movie. And um, I, I tell you what. I was introduced to Alice Cooper as a singer. Um, back in 1976. Uh, I believe it was the Alice Cooper Goes to Hell album. Oh, yeah. And I tell you what, it was a, that is a storytelling album. If you've never heard one before, that is a storytelling album. And, uh, I was just kind of, I was, I was kind of blown away about it. Really blown away. And you, sir, go on there. Let's take a look back. Yeah, I think that doesn't look too, too bad. Yeah. It looks like a typical pacer wheel. You know, it looks like a very large woman on skinny legs. That's exactly what we how we described it back when I was young. Very large woman with skinny legs. I thought it was a joke back then, but man, this is just one ugly car. Jeez, it's just so quirky. Oh. So yeah, so how many of you out there like Alice Cooper? I would be very interested in knowing that. Um, I listened to a lot of his albums up until the... Um, um, we're All Clones album. I didn't do the oh, We're All Clones album. Um, I did do From the Inside album, which was done by Bernie Toppin. 
Um, if you don't know who Bernie Toppin is, Bernie Toppin was the songwriter for Elton John. Um, and speaking of Elton John, I would not recommend seeing Rocket Man. No, 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 no. Horrible movie. Absolutely horrible movie. It was something, you know, I, th I thought it was going to be like Bohemian Rhapsody, which, by the way, was introduced back into 1992 in Wayne's World. Yes. Remember, they're banging their heads singing Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen? Heck yeah, that, that, that... That kind of boosted boosted Queen a little bit there as well. But yeah, I saw Bohemian Rhapsody in the theaters and I loved the movie. Um, I, I forget who was the actor's name. Um, he did a, a, an awesome job playing Freddie Mercury. And, you know, I thought Rocket Man was going to be the same type of movie. Ooh, was I wrong. It was a musical. And we're not talking a good musical like The Greatest Showman. This was not a good movie. Um, give me your feedback down below. Tell me what you think about that. Uh, well, yeah, I wasn't. Uh, yeah, I, I wasn't. I wasn't happy with it. But you know, it was something that was on the screen in front of me as I was flying back from Banff. So you know, it was a free movie. I didn't pay to go see it, so I guess it was worthwhile. But yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody. Remember Garth and, and Wayne in the car banging their heads to Bohemian Rhapsody? Yes, that introduced the world to Bohemian Rhapsody once again. This was a song that I I, I knew years ago um, on the Queen album Night of the Night at the Opera, and um, it just you know it just reaffirmed that Queen was an awesome band and uh, after seeing this after seeing the movie uh, I just it just reaffirmed that Queen was you know Queen was the ultimate band they were they were they were awesome the actors they had to portray the people in that movie spot freaking on loved it saying Rocket Man wasn't as great, and I was really hoping it would be because I really like Elton John, and just was not was not wasn't thrilled with it at all. All right, so for the front rims on this puppy, we needed to go. Um, these are more the hub capish type rims, kind of like this. Kind of, yeah, may have to go with these. May have to go with those, I believe. May have to go with those, the bow ones. Um, I don't think there's any other type of hubcap-ish. It's not a baby moon, that's for sure. Yeah, so we will have to go with the Bowen. We'll go with the Bowen wheels. Um, Alright, so two of you bad boys. 15 inch. We'll go ahead and get the tires set up. We are going to go with the Sport Tire 2. 15 I think we have with a 235 on the back. That's fine. We'll do a 235, 55 on the front. Works for me. Works for me. Yeah, I think that'll. I think that'll do it. All right, let's get some brake action going on here. Because I am sure I need some ventilated brakes. A couple of discs. I don't know how much got broken it.
Let's see, how much did get broke? Um, no, not a whole lot. We're in good shape here. Of course, the suspension has a lot to uh, be desired here. Holy moly. D-E-B. So, let's knock this out real quick. Stern nickel D. Uh, steering cross member E. B. A couple of those. I think another hub. I'll go ahead and get one of those anyway. Um, a couple of B links. A couple of bearings. A couple of caps, which are always, always needed yeah let me grab that wheel I did did you see that did you see that I didn't even grab the wheel all right um oh the shock absorbers yeah we need to pick up a uh, fresh set of shock absorbers so we need these A's Okay, let's put these together while I sort out my inventory here and make sure I've got what I need here. Um, cross member E, knuckle D. Ooh, I needed two of those wheel hubs and I only picked up one. Uh, rubber bushings, I totally forgot those. Ooh, I needed A links and I got B links. So sad. Steering rack. Hmm. Steering rack. Lower suspension arm. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. Another another wheel hub. Um. The lower or bottom suspension arm. I think it was bottom. Maybe we'll go down here and get the lower suspension arm just in case. And a couple of the A-links. Steering rack. Rubber bushings. And um, I don't know what else I needed. We will soon find out. Okay. Well, it wasn't the bottom suspension arm so we didn't get that the lower suspension arm I did get pick up one of those front wheel hub one two three four five six seven eight bushings I did nail that a links good 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 I am full yep and if we can dump the wheels and tires yeah that is us. So yeah, I talk a lot about the other movies, but uh, I was talking about Bernie Toppin being, uh, um, he's like the record producer, songwriter for Alice Cooper's From the Inside. Um, he was featured in the Rocket Man movie, and I will tell you, um, I was happy to see him in the movie. Um, Bertie Toppin was probably uh, a great influence in the musical business between Elton John and just being the songwriter that he is. Um, I think it was awesome that he was in there. You know, the the movie Rocket Man just made me just pissed me off to of all the people that were around Elton, with the exception of Bernie. Um, Bernie was his only really true friend, according to the movie, which I would believe that. Bernie seems like a stand-up kind of dude anyway. But if you listen to an Alice Cooper album at all, it's from the inside. You have to listen to that. It is story. It's a story. It's miniature stories about people he met while he was in the psychiatric ward. 
Yeah. Yeah, you have to take a listen to that sometime. Some good songs on there. But with the Wayne's World movie, you have, uh, like I said, you had some stars that were in there. You know, I didn't mention Alice Cooper. Um, there was Meatloaf. Meatloaf was like a, I think he was a, a security guard or a a bouncer at one of the bars that they frequent all the time. Yeah, Meatloaf was in there. Um, Ed O'Neill. I, I remember Ed O'Neill being in there. And if you don't know who Ed O'Neill is, he was, uh, uh, oh, 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 well, you know him now as, as if you watch, uh, ah, can't even think of the name of the television show he is on right now. My God, I'm an idiot. I knew I forgot that bushing. All right, so. Of caps up front, um, serious wheel issue in the back here. Um, let's get these out. Take that out. Take that out. I'm trying to think. Oh, not a thing. Whew. Tragic. All right, so. Oh, this is a 1969 Nova I have over here. I do have plans for it. Um, there are is a couple of movies that this could go with. Look at that floating bumper. Awesome. Um, there are a couple of movies that this would be planned for. I just don't... I, I'm not committed to it yet because it has 197,000 uh, miles on it and... Yeah, I'm always looking for something at 150 or below. So, um, like I said, I'm not that committed to keeping it yet, but I do have it because it just seems like I pick one up at you know 197,000. The next one I see is you know 182,000. The next one I see is you know 165,000. It just seems like it works that way for some reason. Um. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. All right, so the only problem with my Wayne's World pacer here is that um, it has a tan interior. It has this poop brown interior. Really not digging it. Really not digging it. Um, but it's something we're just going to have to deal with, I guess, right now. Um, door? Okay, can I repair these door panels? Nope. Okay, I think I was able to repair the doors, but that rear bumper, um, that rear bumper was toast. And I think the trunk was toast. Yeah. So, that's fine with me. We got, uh, let's take this engine out. This is just a typical single carb engine. And the V8. Which I'm good with that. I'm happy with that. Yeah, I think I'm happy with the way this is looking. We might as well go ahead and throw some interior pieces in here just in case. I think it's just the two front seats, right? And a steering wheel. Um, let's give them kind of a fancy steering wheel. How's that? Yeah, that works. All right. Um, I think I, I I did do the I did do the welder on this, and there was a particular reason why I did this, and I don't remember. I think I did it by mistake. 
Um, I was working on a different car and accidentally did it. I wasn't paying attention whatsoever. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and pick up some pacer pieces. Pacer pieces. May already have this queued up as pacer pieces. No, I do not. Pacer. Oh, I was typing and nothing. There we go. Pacer. Um, hmm. We have a few options here. I'm going to go with the stock completely. Windows, windows, windows. Um, we've got nice, nice cool hoods in here. Um, we're just going to go stock stuff because... You know, these guys aren't that cool. I definitely need a trunk, a trunk window. All right, that should complete the out. Ooh, yeah, that's right. These things flip up on the front. I forgot all about that. Yeah, I have a friend of mine that has a pacer wagon. Believe it or not. Um, another one of those quirky cars, but he was a—he's a kind of a quirky guy anyway. He's—he's he's got like an AMC Pacer wagon. He has a uh, an AMC Matador. Some of the quirkiest looking cars I've ever seen. That's all right. I mean, to each his own. I mean, car doesn't look too bad. Black with the with the tan interior you know hey look at that that doesn't look too shabby not too shabby at all all right let's clear out our inventory here of this garbage and let's get to work we need a we need a overhead valve single carb v8 engine one of my favorites to build and let's just see if I can build it like I always do. I always try to uh, build these engines without having to go back into um, the pad here to buy more engine parts. And I swear there's an overhead. There it is. Camshaft I'm getting later. Clip A, I do not need carb. I'm going to get uh, different. I need a couple of clip B's. Let me go up here to the gearbox and just get this stuff right here. Okay. Go back. Transmission is going to be completely stock. You know, I could just build this thing completely stock. Should I? Um... No, we want to give it a little more. We want to give it some more girth for Garth. How's that? A little more girth for Garth. Yeah, let's see. Where, who else was in the movie? Ed O'Neill. Ed O'Neill is... Um, you knew him for Ted Bundy from uh, Married with Children, right? And he is now... Um, he's, I think they're wrapping up the final season of Modern Family. He's in Modern Family. So, um, so Ed O'Neill, he's, he's in that as well. So, I mean, a lot of stars in this. Chris Farley. Chris Farley was another one I remember was being in that movie. Um, uh, just a lot of people. It's absolutely nuts. You just... You know, you go back and you start watching some of these older movies, and you're like, holy crap, there was a whole lot of people in this movie. And they were probably nobodies back then, you know. It's just, it's just crazy. Absolutely crazy. And you know what, I'm just going to, I, you know, I'm going to have to give this car some muscle, because uh, I just can't do this. I just can't build it and not give it some kind of, muscle uh we'll give it a typical fuel pump why not our fuel filter um all 
this stuff I'm gonna get in the, the power shop need that um, definitely need that need those need these Telling you, head cold is kicking my butt. There's the ride caps. We'll get the ride caps. Um, I don't need that. Why did I even click on that? Um, need that. Need that. Um. There we go. We need that belt and we need um, that belt. Need a starter. Um, timing chain. Timing chain cover. Push rods. Coughing fits there. Sorry about that. Had to had to bow out real quick. Okay, power boost shop. Let's just pick up where we. Let's just go ahead and just give her give her some goose here. No, I didn't need that. I needed that one. Um, I already have all that stuff. <laughs> it's a late night at the Quasar household. Holy cow. Um, we need distributor cap. We need a... I uh, mean distributor, distributor cap, the coil, the rotor, and a set of wires. Pistons would be a nice thing. I think I do need a couple middle mufflers. Might as well pick them up while I'm in here. V8 power steering. Yes. Um, the, in, the filter. And that should just about do it. Let's get the building. Um, I'm watching my fingers where my fingers are going here. This should be fairly simple build. We are going at it. Regular fuel filter. That's nice. Yeah, it's, it goes real quick if you have all the parts. It's really nice to know all the parts that you're required to have. It just makes everything so much easier. And for those of you that are just starting out, this will eventually come back, come to you. You'll figure it out. You know, these pieces will start coming together. And you'll be like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that piece, so I need to get that piece. You'll have your favorite engines. And you too will be a master at engine building. Look at that. <laughs> All right, let's flip you over. Because I've got things to put down in here. This comes to the slow part of the engine here. Lower end. Set our pistons in place. Put our cam cam bearings in. Get 
then you have your crank bearings right here this is a crankshaft bearing cap or the main bearings as they might be called in some some engines when you hear somebody calling about a four bolt main we're talking about a main crankshaft bearing cap that has four bolts in it believe it or not that's all it is, is a four bolt main little GM car tech teaching for you how's that so there is a Wayne's World 2 never saw it I, I think after you know after doing Wayne's World um, there are just some movies that you just leave alone right um, and I honestly think that one should have been one of them um, I know they made a second one and I have no idea what it's about and I never even tried to even watch it so all right so I've got that all wrapped up we spin this puppy around all right heads oh yeah we're putting some performance heads on this puppy I had to party on Wayne party on Garth we are going to party on and finish this side up all together here yes sir um, let's zoom in here a little bit. There we go. Kind of zoomed out a little bit too far, but that's all right. I think we can still see what we're doing here. Don't need my glasses that bad right now. Though my eyesight is getting pretty bad. You'll figure it out. I don't know if it's the video games or if it's just age, but holy cow. I spend all day in front of a computer reading spreadsheets and then I come home and want to play this all day. There we go. Now let's pop on to the other side. pretty good right Wayne and Garth are gonna really appreciate the horsepower that I've put into this car let's get in here a little bit closer shall we there we go I mean if they don't appreciate the horsepower come on it's gonna give them few more ponies than what they're used to I mean I don't know how much a AMC V8 actually put out if it even came with a V8 I don't think it did I think they came with did they come with a V8 I'm not a big AMC guy so you know this is like a G GM 327 engine to me hey it works who cares with all the engine swaps and the craziness going on in this game you can't keep up on what engine goes in what car anymore all right spark plug wires yeah intake yeah they really need a single intake in the speed shop they really really do I agree I almost have everything else and not that all right so that is done we are going to remove her from the stand give myself a little bit of a cough 
That's installer into the Wayne's World Mobile. Doesn't look too dang bad in there. All right, we have that done. Um, we need to raise her up, put an exhaust system on this thing. Transmission starter. Um, oh man, this is just straight up middle muffler. Wow, that's kind of different. Starter, yep, and I think that about does this, right? I think that's it. We need to put her in the shop. Um, 89%. What am I missing here? Is it just the license plates? Yes, it is just the license plates, and I do remember. Um, Excuse me, sorry, I should have, I should have, uh, I should closed off the, the mic, and I didn't do that. Oh my gosh. Um, <laughs> what is the license plate on that puppy? Does anyone know? I don't know if anyone knows what the license plate is or even where they were. Um, um, geez. Um, I'm a looking. I'm a looking. I don't think there is a. I don't think anybody knows, to be honest with you. Um, Um, I'm looking. I'm looking online as uh, we're looking at this. Looking to see if sometimes they have the cars and they tell you what the... Uh, Well, probably not. So I'm going to have to give up on that altogether. Um, I'll have to give up on that. Um, I don't know we, what the license plates would have been. If you know the license plates, throw me a throw me a comment down below and I will definitely definitely get the plates changed or put them on here so the Wayne's World Pacer is actually a light blue so let's get some saturation going here and let's get into the blues um, like that maybe saturation um, Kind of like that, I think. Let me think about this. Um, I think that's pretty close. I think that's pretty close. All right, it looks like we have a Wayne's World mobile. Um, let me move this out here. Let me take a snapshot of it. Yeah, I'm thinking. Yeah, I'm thinking we got Wayne's World here. All right, let me, uh, hang on. Don't go anywhere yet. I have a surprise. Oh, yeah. You saw this on the cover. Guess what I have 
a surprise for you. I'm hoping you guys are watching this video long enough to see the surprise and to survive my one coughing fit that I think I was able to, to squeeze by. Yes, we have the flames that we're painting the car. Yes, look at this, look at this. Oh, yes, let's put this car back out next to... Nope. That's right. I have been working on this for a while. And yes, I have the flames on the side of Garth's Pacer. Yes. And uh, um, I'll, I'll make them available. How's that? I'll make them available. Well, I hope you liked the episode. I uh, hope you liked the little surprise. I haven't put any license plates on here, but uh, um, yeah, maybe I'll just throw these on real quick. Uh, we'll go plates, California. Uh, two of them. Let's see if this works. Party dash on. Hey, it works. I think that will work for this car. Party on. Party on, Wayne. Party on, Garth. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Um, if you liked it, please hit that like button down below. Hit the subscribe button. I'd really love to see 100 subscribes before the end of this year. Um, I'm looking at about 88 right now. So I'm looking at 12 people. 12 people by the end of this year. It's uh, It's a goal goal 100 people by the end of the year I'm hoping i can get that all right but but then but until then uh ho again check out the rest of my videos and for now this is hers quasar i am out